Hey guys, it's Emma here and I have my haul for September. Now I'm actually filming this a week early because I'm off this next week, the last week in September, and I want to get some of this stuff out and used and washed. So <laughs> I'm filming this bit early. Um, if I do buy anything else before the end of the month, I will insert it at the end. There is something that's on its way, so that will probably be inserted at the end, but it hasn't arrived yet. So yeah, I went shopping for Halloween things and I bought some stuff. So <laughs> let's just get into it. Um, it's not going to be like an order or anything, but I've tried to um, put everything together that was from certain shops, uh, even if I went like on multiple different days, trying to keep all the things together. So we'll start with Asda. So they have a bunch of stuff. I don't know about normally but like their website has like just stuff for days um not a lot of stuff in stores yet but i've got a few things so i wanted some like spooky like halloween towels and things for like the bathroom and for like the kitchen for like drying dishes and stuff just to have a little spooky kind of home decor halloweeny touch so i grabbed this stitch one as i say this is all from asda so i grabbed this cute stitch towel which is like a high hand towel, but I'm going to use it as like a dish towel to dry my dishes. So it is, a, yeah, it says it's a guest towel, but it's going to be used to dry the dishes. <laughs> so it is stitch and it's got a couple of bats on it, uh, the white bats on it, and it's like a all orange and bright. So yeah, I figured I'll grab this because I wasn't going to when I saw it the first time, but uh, it's really hard to find dish towels nowadays. I don't know if it's just like the themed ones, but they're all that like thin material that doesn't like absorb like this will. Uh, and as soon as you've dried like one glass, it's soaked through. So it was really hard to find something else. So I grabbed this because I do love Stitch. Uh, so I grabbed that and then I grabbed a couple of like towels for the bathroom. So they have these really pretty Nightmare Before Christmas towels. So I grabbed them. So I got this massive one, which is supposed to be the same as this is like a hand towel uh yeah 100 cotton hand towel uh but it's like a lot bigger obviously so that will go in the bathroom as our hand towel for there and it's actually technically double-sided so that's really pretty there's a print on the back as well i was thinking of using um these for halloween and christmas these like nightmare for christmas ones but it is Quite Halloween there are like you maybe can't see them but there are like little pumpkins on here spread throughout so I probably won't use them at Christmas but we'll see uh, I just wanted some kind of home decor touches for Halloween instead of just the same old towels I use every other <laughs> week uh, so yeah I grabbed that and uh, again first off I didn't buy the matching uh, bath towel but uh, then I did the next time I went in because I actually ended up really liking it I wasn't sure about it at first um, but I already bought the, the hand towel and I was like I actually do now like this bath towel so obviously much bigger it's a bath towel um, and it's like just really nice and soft obviously I'm sure it won't be as nice and soft after it goes through the uh, washing machine and tumble dryer a few times but yeah I really liked it I like the uh, like orange piping around the, the edges as well and again it's like double-sided so it's got the print on the back as well in like the kind of opposite colours. So yeah I'm really chuffed for that uh, and again it was as so it wasn't too expensive I think the towel was like 11 pounds and this was like seven pounds and I think the stitch one was only like four pounds if I'm thinking right I don't remember but anyway it's all on their website or in stores as I say there's not much in our stores yet they don't have their like seasonal section yet for like Halloween it's all like uh, back to uni stuff at the moment because I checked it again this morning when I went but no still no like Halloween section no like clothes or pajamas or anything yet so didn't get any of that kind of stuff but yeah that's all the towels I'm probably gonna run out of space on this table so I'm gonna start moving stuff off as I run out of space just fair warning. <laughs> um, another thing I grabbed was just a pair of Nightwear for Christmas boxers because they're comfy and they're Nightwear for Christmas. As I say, they haven't got a lot of Halloween-y clothes and things yet. So I just grabbed these. Uh, these were £6, so you get two for 10 but there wasn't anything else 
I wanted. So yeah, just a cute pair of comfy boxers. Also Nightmare Before Christmas themed. Uh, another Nightmare Before Christmas theme I grabbed on another day when I got the bath towel is this Jack Skellington um, hand wash pump. So I will stick this in the bathroom. I might do this for Halloween and Christmas because it's Jack Skellington and you know it's not a pumpkin or anything so I might do it for both. But yeah I just thought this was really cute and again this was like maybe six pounds or something. Uh, but yeah I really like this and then I got that like last weekend I think last Sunday and then when I was in this morning there was none. Or when I was in, sorry, I was in yesterday, there was none left, they were all gone. So I'm glad I grabbed it when I did. But yeah, so that is a hand wash pump I'll be using. And then uh, I was trying to find Halloween sweeties as well. But again, there's not really anything. Uh, there's Christmas stuff everywhere, which is really frustrating because it's not even been Halloween yet. But like, you know, the UK don't seem to really do like Halloween like America do. Uh, there's not loads of like themed sweets and things which is like what I was looking for <laughs> but they did have some stuff so again in Asda so I grabbed the uh, Haribo things which they have every year now so they've got the sour skeletons and Haribo monsters which are like the kind of fizzy ones so I actually have because these last like a good year so I actually have some from last year uh, that I kept and I noticed that this one this year is missing one of the flavours it's missing like a lemon ghost which I'm not really a big lemon fan so I don't really care but it was just something random that I noticed uh, and then I got uh, a bag of like just high like trick or treat things just in case because we've had like an influx of families round about this area with little kids seemingly this year so we don't normally get any trick or treaters but just in case I thought I would grab a little bag of these um, and then they're like pumpkins and things so they are like Halloween-y themed and obviously if we don't get any trick-or-treaters I can just eat them myself awesome win-win so I grabbed them and then I grabbed these like fizzy fangs from this other uh, brand B Bibeto? Bibito? I don't know um, but uh, I've noticed I must have ripped them by accident when I got home so I had to save them up uh, but yeah they're just like fizzy fangs so as you'd expect um, the only other thing I grabbed from Asda I think was this fitted sheet, nothing to do with Halloween, just I'm always looking for different coloured fitted sheets because I like um, having different colours of fitted sheets on with my bedding, so I don't have a purpley one so I grabbed a purple one. I think that was everything from Asda, yes. <laughs> so yes, that's the Asda haul, uh, and as I say, if I find anything else uh, this week when I'm off I will put it at the end of the video. So <laughs> the next uh, shop we will do is HomeSense which is part of TK Maxx. So I always go there now, they seem to be like the one-stop shop for me at least for Halloween for um, decorations or like figures and things that you can put out and candles. Yankee doesn't seem to do Halloween candles anymore so screw them. Uh, HomeSense does a sh sugar load okay <laughs> try not to swear uh, they do a lot of candles now um sometimes it feels like they're doing more candles than anything else which is annoying because i don't have room for candles but hey whatever so i bought a few things obviously some of them are candles <laughs> so let's just start with the candles so they had these really cool like drinks looking things like it looks like a can of juice it's got like a almost like a like a fake rubber pool tag on the top so it looks like a can of something and it's poison apple cider wicked and chilling so yeah i just thought that was really cool and as i say it's got that like ring pool kind of fake bit on the top and it's got like skulls all the way around it and stuff and mm, smells amazing smells like apple cider i love it i do like these apple ones they seem to do a lot of the apple ones for Halloween which is fine with me because I really like them and then I have a nice themed thing which also smells nice uh, so that is good. I grabbed this tiny little one which is called Trick or Treat and it says it's creamy sweet and rich so it's just a tiny little one but the uh, lid has like a Halloween print I don't know if you'll be able to see that if not I'll put a picture in but it's just like some pumpkins and stuff and it smells amazing and also it's small so I don't need to worry too much about where the hell I'm going to put it. 
uh, it will be able to be stored away easily. The last candle I grabbed because one it looks amazing and two it actually did smell nice, obviously I wouldn't buy it if it didn't smell nice, is this one which is called Mystic Moon and it's by Mirror of Horrors I think and like it looks cool and like it's massive but the front, the top of it has like this kind of mirrored effect and this one has some hands on it, if you can see that there. There was another one that had like a I think it had like a skull face on it or something but it didn't the, the candles inside didn't smell as good um so this one says it's a richly scented candle warm apple cider with crisp pears cord sliced and seasoned with sugar and a dash of spice which sounds amazing and it smells amazing too mm, yes more apple so this one has three wicks so i'll be interested to see how this burns because like most of my candles are yankee candles so it's always interesting to see how different candles are and how they burn and how everything goes with them. So yeah I was standing in the, the I was in the home sense for like guy food hour or more because <laughs> if I picked something I wanted like this I was then looking at each one to find the best one because obviously some of the tops were like a bit scratched and stuff so I think I found the best one but I was getting a lot of people staring at me wondering why I was standing in the same aisle for like 20 minutes in their way but oh well if I'm buying something I don't want to buy something that's like naff and broken. Um, another thing I grabbed was this cute little um, kind of, I don't know, statue thing that says boo and it's got like a witch's hat on it. I bought a lot of things that I justified buying by saying I'll put these up at work but I only have so much space in the little corner of my office so <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, that'll be that'll be interesting um, but yeah I just this was like one of the first things I grabbed when I got in I just thought it was really cute and uh, yeah and it was like 4 I think yeah it was, it was like 4 so it wasn't very expensive so I figured I would grab that and I can put it up at work. Uh, I also grabbed this for potentially for work instead of the Jack and Sally figures I got off Amazon I'll keep them at home uh, it's some um, ghosts and they've got it's got like a little lantern at the end there I just thought they looked really cool. They're like um, ghosts, but they don't have like a face or anything. So it just looks kind of, you know, it looks more horror than like cute little ghosts. So I really like that. Again, I think there was three um, on the shelf. One of them didn't even have a lantern and I would just pick between the other two which one looked the best. So I like this one. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I bought it. It was like 12 99 I think. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really chuffed with this because I just think it looks really cool and um, yeah I, I want more of the like horror Halloween than the cutesy Halloween so that's why I grabbed that. Um, the last thing I bought from HomeSense was some more Halloween bedding so I got this one which you can't really see it very well because it's in its packaging still but this is the same print as the throw I got last year and uh, so I looked at their bedding I wanted another set of Halloween bedding to use and there was a couple of things but there wasn't really anything that was like really grabbing my eye and then I saw this one and I was like oh my god it's this it's the Halloween throw which I love I absolutely love that I got that last year from them so I was like oh my god yes definitely I'm buying the bedding um I, it was funny my partner saw because I had all this stuff piled up to do my haul and he was like kind of this was like underneath everything so he was just like don't you have this already and I was like no this is bedding <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> so yeah uh apologies at this moment to my partner for buying all this stuff let's just get that out of the way now but uh yeah I'm really chuffed for this I can't wait to get it washed and on the bed for October um I'll probably put it on like at the end of October just before Halloween so it's uh nice and fresh but yeah um I think I'm gonna put that down here back of the dog room <laughs> uh, and then I went there next door to Hobbycraft and I bought some more of those plush pumpkins so <laughs> I bought some of them last year as well uh, they come in like different sizes and different colors and stuff and they had more this year like more different colors and things so I grabbed some more because uh, like last year I kind of had them at work but I was like but these are really nice and like fancy looking even though they're just from Hobbycraft uh, I kind of want them at home as like nice decor so I bought some more so I can have some at work and some at home this year so I grabbed some different colours because I made sure I didn't buy ones I already had 
So I got a black pumpkin. And again, <clears throat> I was standing there for ages trying to find the best looking one of all of them. So again, people were probably giving me really weird looks. But anyway, that's just how I do. So <clears throat> I got this black one. I got a smaller kind of like ready kind of one and I got this pumpkin looking like uh, orange one so it looks like a real pumpkin so I thought they they look quite nice together or I can use a couple of other colors they have got like a kind of tealy color and like a purpley color so I can like mix and match and see what I want to put at work and what I want to keep at home uh, but yeah I think they're all different sizes from the ones I've got as well I think that's probably the same size as like the smaller one and then the largest one is is larger obviously I didn't buy another one of them so yeah I'll mix and match with the kind of colors and sizes um <clears throat> this is small so I will show this now I bought this off Etsy and <clears throat> I can't remember the name of the shop right now but I will link them down below which you kind of like paints these like clay figures or well not figures but like um cutouts or whatever and she does pumpkins with faces on them and I thought they look really cool so it's just like kind of a, a flat kind of bit of clay uh, with a string on it so I thought again I was like oh I could put that up at work I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff at work but I can apparently I can put all this up at work so I just thought that was really cool as I say I will link her down below if you want to grab something yourself she does a bunch of things there's a bunch of halloweeny ones like eyeballs and things as well uh, and then there's like a bunch of christmas ones as well so yeah i thought that was gorgeous so i grabbed that off etsy and um some uh, one non-halloween related item i <clears throat> went into town the other day and i had 10 pounds which I didn't know I had a 10 pounds credit thing on like my Waterstones like plus card because I had been obviously when I buy books I scan the card and it builds up stamps so the stamps have equal to 10 pounds now which I didn't realize last time I went in to get that timber dark book uh, so this time I was like hey I'll just have a quick looky so I got the Stephen King book that I've been meaning to read for blooming ages now because it doesn't come out recently uh, Billy Summers so this isn't one of his horror ones this is one of his more like thriller drama ones I think which I do like um his kind of like more thriller drama -y things I just read or well reread because I'm pretty sure I read it before Cell um which I feel like is more I don't know if family drama is quite the right word but it's not like an all-out horror kind of spooky one and I really enjoyed it uh but yeah so I grabbed this Billy Summers I've been meaning to read it as I say and I'm kind of behind in my Stephen King books uh, of like things that he's brought out lately. So Fairy Tale, I really want to read that as well. Uh, but this is, yeah, 2021. So it's a couple of years old now. But I grabbed that for free, so that was awesome. And then I went upstairs and got a free Subway because I had points for them as well. So it was a good day. I got lots of free stuff. <laughs> and then the last place I went was the range and this is one of the items I got so I put this through the till first and then I was able to put all the stuff in the bag amazing so I've been looking for something Disney 100 merch wise because I love Disney and 100 years that's amazing so I wanted something but I didn't really love like any of the things they were doing I didn't love the kind of like aesthetic and like look of the things they were doing and um, they've done everything I think it's in platinum is that 100 uh, so <clears throat> everything they've done that is like platinum it's all like kind of whatever the color was like say it's stitch it's all like washed out platinum looking with like kind of light blue and I just didn't like the look of it uh, but yeah I saw this in the range because they have a bunch of like reusable bags in the queue and I was just like oh perfect one of my favorite movies another one of my favorite movies and Mickey I don't really care about Mickey as much but is Mickey it's, he's been around for 100 years so yeah I would love this so it's the Disney 100 uh, 100 years of wonder it's just the same on both sides and unfortunately it isn't quite as wide as like the other bags I use for shopping and things but um, I love it so it's fine I'll make it work <laughs> so I got the bag and 
I'll show you the non-Halloween item first. I got some more. Another fit sheet, so this is a red one, because again, I don't have a red one. So I'm looking forward to getting all of this stuff washed and on bedding and in the places of towels and things. So I'll just stick that there. I got a doormat for Halloween. I don't have one. I have a couple of Christmas ones, but I don't have a Halloween one. And I just love this one because purple is one of my favorite colors. So it just grabbed my attention. So it just says happy Halloween. It's got a witch's hat. It's got a, a bat here and there's a spider there. It's not as easy to see, but hopefully you can kind of make out the stuff there. Uh, again, I was crouched over the bottom of the shelf for ages trying to figure out which one the best. So yeah, I grabbed this one because I really love it. Can't wait to put that out outside the front door uh, in a week or so. And another thing I grabbed for the office, I really don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff guys, um, skeleton string lights. So they look like they're like kind of multicoloured lights, uh, LEDs. So I just thought they were cool. I could hang them like off my shelf or something. Uh, and they're all like different colours if you can see that there. So yes, another thing from my office that I don't know where I'm actually going to put. <laughs> I'm starting to run out of space. Um, <laughs> next thing, there's only a couple of things left, I promise. Uh, <laughs> next thing is one of these like make your own things. So it's a make your own Halloween gonks, which I thought was really cute. Uh, whether when I make it, it will look really cute, probably not, but I thought that might be fun just to do some crafting. They have a lot of crafting stuff at the range. Um, a lot so that was fun I don't I'm not like a big crafter I just do my knitting um, for my Etsy shop and stuff link down below for that um, but yeah I wanted to grab a couple of things to, to do so I grabbed this because I thought it was really cute there's a, like a witch one and a devil one so I'm excited to make them at some point maybe I'll make them in my week off and see how it goes if I do that before this video goes out at the end of September I will put a picture here but if there's no picture here, it's because I haven't made them yet. Uh, so the last thing I got was another kind of crafting kind of thing. So it's make your own candles. So again, if you've been following this channel at all, you might know that I do make candles, not from scratch. I melt down the rest of my Yankee or whatever candle I've been using when it's burned out. And I have a like knitted wool ball mold that I use to make these little cute balls of wool that are wax and I don't actually burn them most of the time but they're all in a box somewhere uh, so yeah I thought that'd be fun because this one comes with a skull mold so I've got some like Halloween candles and stuff that I used up last year I can melt them down and make them into a skull instead of a ball of wool so I thought that was really cool I mean the, the kit comes with um, one mold for the skull 250 grams of wax, one wick, one muddler, whatever that is, one wooden stick with a hole in the middle that I'll be to put the uh, wick through, uh, a needle, two colour pigments with two cents and one instruction sheet. So I really just need the, the mould but it was only like, I feel like it was 7 99 or something, like it wasn't too crazy so I was like yeah I'd probably like pay almost that just for the mould itself so I was like I may as well and then I've got a couple of cents I can try with this the like plain wax that's in it I can make some from the box so yeah I'm excited to try that out uh but yeah I think that is everything I'll put that there <laughs> I think that is everything uh I showed you the bedding already that's down here yeah that is everything so that's a lot of stuff and as I say if there is anything else I will insert it right now Hey, so as said earlier in the video, I did buy more stuff when I was off this week. So I will just show you that stuff. Now, um, the first thing isn't uh, something I bought this month. It is the thing that I hinted about that I pre-ordered a while ago and it finally shipped for September and that is a candle. But, but it's from um, a YouTuber that I subscribe to. He has his own shop, it's Adam Hatton. I will link him down below. But um, yeah, he has like kind of a, a, a online shop as well where he sells like t-shirts and candles and things. He is um, a Disney vlogger, so the candles are all inspired by uh, scents at Walt Disney World, which I have never been to, but I wanted to 
look at what the the smells of the candles were and there was one that sounded quite nice to me so it came in this gorgeous packaging which has like his branding and everything on it which is kind of cool um and then it had like tissue paper and stuff in it and the candle just sits nestled in there really pretty so it is big top confectionery and it's a parasol parasol wax candle and then all this is recyclable so that's pretty good but yeah it is um smells like apparently like the kind of sweet shop in Walt Disney World it smells really nice and it is a three wick candle it's quite small um but yeah I haven't tried it yet so I will see how it burns but yeah it's really nice and it came this month so I wanted to show you guys so that is the first thing and then on to the Halloween stuff so I went a couple more places when I was off this week uh looking for specifically for Halloween stuff I ended up getting some Christmas stuff as well because I just did <laughs> the the shops as I think I mentioned earlier in the video are basically just ignoring Halloween almost and just doing Christmas so uh, there's a couple of things I wanted to try and find um, like towels more towels and things that just there just wasn't any uh, that I liked or that were any use so we'll just ignore that but uh, I'll show you a couple of the Halloween sweeties I bought because I found a few more in different places so I got some sour vampire teeth from I think this was from TK Maxx yeah got these uh, and I got from B&M I think I got some more Halloween things so I got these skull crushers which are strawberry and cream flavour it's basically just skulls that are strawberry cream flavour I did buy them last year as well so I know they're really good so I grabbed them and I grabbed some tangy tarantulas which I think they are flavours yeah there's an apple flavour a blackcurrant flavour and a strawberry flavour so they sounded quite nice and some gummy brains and they are strawberry flavour so yeah, that is the Halloween. And then today when I was in Asda, I got a Reese's uh, pumpkin, white chocolate pumpkin. So that is all the Halloween-y sweets uh, all set. Uh, I also got this bat cushion pillow kind of thing from uh, oh, that Copenhagen shop. I think it's called Flying Tiger. Uh, it was like £10, but I just thought it might be good for my back because like I have a knackered back. And I'm always looking for support for it and it kind of shapes to my back so I thought I'll give it a go I've still got the tag on so if it's no use uh, like in my office chair at work or whatever I will just return it um but yeah it was just a cute bat it's really soft and kind of like velvety feeling and as I say it's kind of like shaped so it might be good lumbar support for my back so we will see but yes um there's that <laughs> the last Halloween -y item I have here is a reusable bag that I got from um, TK Maxx as well when I was in getting the sweets and things. Um, it's quite a good one. It isn't as wide as my normal shopping bags, but it's almost as wide. So I, I did use it today for my shopping. It was quite good. And Asda, and it's just ghosts. It was literally 99p. I'd been looking for a Halloweeny bag. So this one's just covering ghosts, and it's got their branding on the on the sides but uh yeah i've been looking for a, a reusable bag of, for like a halloweeny one because i got that disney 100 one uh, and i wanted a halloweeny one i think i've got at least one christmas one so i'm looking for seasonal things this is the year of me looking for seasonal functional items so yeah it was 99p so i grabbed it bought it went in next door to b m and the handle just completely started fraying off and I was like oh god so I went <laughs> I went back in uh, afterwards and I was like look I literally just bought this uh, can I exchange it it's falling apart so like yeah that's fine so I was transferring all my stuff out of it into the new bag and then I was like hey I'm this is really cheeky but um are, are you just gonna throw that away like can I maybe just keep it and see if I can like fix it and the guy looked at me for a second and then he was like well we're just gonna throw it away so yeah that's fine so now i have two <laughs> um and i this one was the bad the bad one but i just cut the bit off that was fraying so uh yeah i now have two of these and they were only 99p that's amazing like 
for this size bag, it was only 99p. So now I have two for 99p. So yeah, I would uh, definitely recommend these from TK Maxx, uh, probably in HomeSense as well, because they're the same kind of store, um, because they're cheap and they are at least 50% recycled material. They're spooky and they're really good bags. So I would definitely recommend these and I'm so happy I got them and I got one for free. Um, so then the last couple of things I need to show you are Christmassy things, as I said, there wasn't a lot of Halloween stuff, um, and even places that did have Halloween stuff had more Christmas stuff. So I didn't get any more Halloween towels I was looking for, but I did get some Christmas ones. So in B&M there are, they had these uh, two pack tea towels, which again, I think I probably mentioned this earlier in the video. I was trying to find good tea towels for like seasonal things, but they're all these really thin material that like just doesn't dry things. Whereas this is like a proper towel. So I was really chuffed to grab these. So it's just some Christmassy gonks. So he's got his legs hanging off there. So I'm not sure how easy that's going to be to like wash and dry in the tumble dryer, but we'll find out. So it is a two pack. So I've got that is one and then just another uh, print, cute print of these Christmassy gonks is the second one. So yeah, I'm really chuffed that I found these. These were in B&M, as I say, and they were four pounds. And then also in B&M, I got a couple of decorations for work for Christmas. So I bought a bunch of Halloween stuff. I've now got some more Christmas stuff. Just these really cute little, um, almost like candy cane ornaments. I just thought they were really pretty. So I got three of them to like hang up at my work. And they've got like a velvety kind of ribbon. I'm probably just gonna have to sell take them to the kind of the, the bottom of my shelves, but it's fine. So yeah, I was standing there for ages again trying to find like the nicest looking ones. Uh, they are a bit more expensive, so they're three pounds each. So that came to just under a tenner for all of them. But yeah, I was quite chuffed to find them because I think they're really pretty and like nicer than some of the like kind of naff decorations that I've had for years that I'll probably get rid of and like put all this nice stuff out instead. So the last thing I got, I got not yesterday, the day before, yeah, Thursday was my last thing I bought. Um, I went and met my mom and we went to Next for a look and they had this really pretty Christmas towel so I bought this as well. It was £10 um, and it is a, a pure cotton hand towel and it just says happy Christmas on it and it is this nice grey colour that I like and it's also got like stars and stuff all over it and it's got pink piping uh, around the edges and again this will just be nice to put out in the bathroom in December. I don't have any more so I've got like one set of Halloween towels and one set of Christmas towels now uh, so when I wash them I'm just gonna have to put the regular ones out <laughs> for the next week but yeah I was really chuffed with this towel I just think it's so pretty it grabbed me right away so I had to buy it obviously shock uh, so yeah that is all the extra stuff I bought this week uh, once again apologies to my partner I'm so sorry <laughs> that I bought all this stuff no I don't know where I'm going to put it but I'll figure it out I'm really sorry <laughs> don't kill me uh, but yeah that is it for the extra stuff I bought so back to past Emma from last week but that is it for this one guys any comments leave them down below, share with your friends, give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you next time, guys. Bye.